Today I'm at the park with Jared Morton. And Jared, you've brought a little friend. I have. Uh, this is Milo. It's my turn to walk her. All right, well, we're in the off leash area, so let's let her go. Go. So she likes the ball? Yeah, she loves playing with the, with the tennis ball. I see you've got the ball thrower. A few of you out here at the park have the ball thrower. Yeah. How does that go? You know, it's pretty busy. Um, it's good uh, letting Milo muck around with the other dogs, but it's at times hard to get her back. And what breed is she? She looks like a, a bit of a bitzer, perhaps? Um, it's a four-legged brown dog. <laughs> I think she looks a little bit like a Kelpie, the eyes, and maybe the head of a Staffy, would that be right? That's it, I think. <laughs> Tell us about where you grew up in WA. I uh, grew up in a small country town in Western Australia. Um, population of 700 people, oh, and small. it's uh, about 450k southeast of Perth. And you've moved to Melbourne with your two brothers as well, and I've heard your folks have followed? Yeah, mum and dad are over here now, which is uh, a big change from Lake Grace, but um, they're, they're really enjoying it. When we came to this park earlier, I thought it would be a lovely leisurely st stroll, but you reminded me that this is where the time trials happen at work? Yeah, that's right. Um, during the pre-season, this, uh, this is where we do our pre-season uh, pre running, and um, one of those runs is our time trial, and it's pretty, um, pretty intense. And you were involved in the New Zealand training camp at the end of last year, which was our training camp for this year. How did you find that compared to, you've done Kokoda as well, and other training camps? Um, it, was, it was very, very good. There was, I think, worth three days in the, um, in the National Park, in the Mount Peel National Park, and um, it was an amazing, amazing scenery, and uh, the boys uh, really worked hard. And now back in Melbourne, living with your brothers, how do you go with house duties and the dog, Milo, that's here today, is your brother's dog, so you take it in turns looking after her and what about the rest of the housework? Yeah, we've got a bit of a roster going. Um, at times we can sort of let it, uh, let it all go, but um, we uh, try to keep on top of it all with, it, with a roster. Now, Jared, we haven't seen you out on the ground for Hawthorne or Box Hill for a while. What's been going on? Uh, I've just been managing uh, my foot, which is played up a few times since Christmas, um, but I'm slowly getting on top of it. And how's that changed your training this pre-season? Are you in more with rehab, or is it a little bit more laid back than what, say, the team's doing for week-to-week -week games? Uh, no, not at all. It's it's um, it's quite interesting. We uh, spend a lot more time at the club than, than the guys who are playing. Um, a lot of swimming, boxing, bike, and um, I've just started running again. So when can Hawks supporters expect to see you back? Uh, I'll be back by the mid-season. Sounds good. We look forward to seeing you out there. Thanks. As for now, Dicko, it is back to you.